It's a dentist today. <sighs> Up early today, because in a couple hours, we're headed off to the dentist. We're taking Braley to get a look at her teeth, get a good cleaning, and then looking for any problems that she may have. So it'll be her, I believe, fourth visit to the dentist, and it will be the first time doing sedation, sedation dentistry. A little nervous. Braley's not gonna know what's going on. She's gonna be wondering what are, what, what is mom and dad doing to me? Where are they taking me? This is not therapy. What are we doing? And I mean, we can tell her all we want. At least for now, we're not gonna know if she understands what we're doing or why she's gonna be in this strange room with strange people doing strange things. I mean, it's gonna be, it's gonna be tough. See, we'll see how this goes today. Up here, I'll put uh, our first video on the dentist, kind of like our pre-dentist video, and today we're going. It's happening. Just a little bit nervous about today. A little bit stressed out about today. I'm gonna make some coffee. before her sedation dentistry. We can't feed her anything this morning. We can't give her anything to drink. We have to make sure she's nice and clean, so we'll give her a bath. Also, we gotta make sure there's no nail polish on. My first thought when she woke up, first thought that came into my mind is, oh, I need to grab her breakfast, but no, can't do that. Good morning. Today we're going. We're not going to school, Braley. We are going to the dentist. They're gonna make you go back to sleep. You're gonna sleep a little longer, and then you're gonna wake up with the new filling to your teeth. They're gonna clean them. It could be a little crazy today, Braley. It's all new. This is gonna be a new place. First time going somewhere. Yeah, we're going somewhere completely new today. What we're doing today is for your teeth. It's so you feel they feel better, and so they they're, they're gonna work on your teeth. They're gonna make sure they're good. Yeah, you'll be good. We'll come out of it. You'll have nice clean teeth. So they took us to a holding room after we checked in and we met our nurse there. She kind of talked to us. We got Braley dressed into her gowns and socks and everything that she needed to be set up with. <laughs> All right, we gotta put your socks on. The dentist and the anesthesiologist came and checked in before they took her back. The really cool thing though was the nurse. The nurse has a 30 year old with Asperger's. Mm -hmm. And so she talked about her experiences and so she understood Braley a little bit. It was just a really comfortable experience, at least for that first part. So yeah, we just waited in that room for a little while and Braley had a great time the whole time we were waiting. They had Mickey Mouse playing mm -hmm. and she was in a good, good mood. She was in a great mood.
choice of having one of us go with her. Um, and typically I can't restrain Braylee and I didn't know how difficult it was going to be so David went back with her. So they had him get like a gown on and shoe, co shoe covers, hair net, all that stuff for like surgery because it's a surgery center. So David got all dressed up and he went back with her. Daddy's all ready too, huh? Daddy looks like Yoda. Ready I am. <laughs> Do this, we will. <laughs> Do this, we will. Uh, the anesthesiologist just came in and said <laughs> that <laughs> it'll be pretty quick. Um, and that they'll put a mask over her face. And then it'll probably take about 30 seconds before she is out. Which is good. And they have Mickey Mouse on up here. Which is her favorite. Went back there, Braylee wanted to be carried. She was pretty nervous about it, but this is the part we don't have any video on. But we, so I took her to the, sur it's like your normal surgical room. It's an operating room, I think. Yeah, it, it reminded me of the one we went into when um, we had Braylee doing the C-section, but. We were dressed up the same too. <laughs> yeah, we, I sat her on the, the table and they wanted her to lay back, but she was really not going to lay back at all because her anxiety was at a, it was really high. And we tried the smells for the mask. They have like the flavored smells that they can put into the mask so that make it more comfortable. But she didn't want to have anything to do with those. I just held onto her hands, and they snuck up behind her and put the mask over her face. It took about 30 seconds, probably less than 30 seconds. Yeah. She didn't cry. She did. She did try to move a little bit. But I didn't have to hold her that hard. Like I just held her hands, and I just kept telling her that everything's okay, and she fell asleep. It's a little awkward. The look on her face was definitely confused. Like what is going on? And she was looking right at me, and so that that's that. I think mean, was the toughest part. Her just looking straight at me. Like what are you doing? But she was out really fast. And then they took me back to the lobby and we waited for all the work to be done. They took us back to consult with the dentist to talk about how it went while they took Braylee off of anesthesia and got her all undone with whatever they had her hooked up to. And that's when we talked to the dentist and she told us about the amount of work that she did because we didn't know going in what all was gonna be done. All we knew is that Braylee needed x-rays and a cleaning that she'd never been able to get done before. And she told us beforehand, you know, that they they would treat it as if she was their own child and just do what work they seemed best so we found out what all was done afterwards and it was it was really extensive it was surprising to us 14 out of 20 teeth had to have had to be worked on and so her mouth is very silver mm -hmm. and they did do with the white and the for the front teeth anything mm -hmm. that's Above anything the canine. canine back is silver and canine forward anything that they worked on at least they did the white yeah and every single tooth behind the canines had is the, silver that's a result of brushing teeth like it's she's it's never, never been very thorough no. and she's flossing is even harder she's gotten better but i feel like it was almost too little too late because she's gone so many years without having a dentist able to get in for a cleaning. Yeah. And it doesn't help that she has, you know, pica and she grinds her teeth at night and all that stuff. So yeah. it was just a combination of everything. But being in that room with that dentist, I felt like a terrible parent. Because that, brushing her teeth in oral care is one of the things that we are pretty much 100% in charge of for her because she doesn't do it on her own and so it felt like we failed her. We got taken to a, a yeah, recovery room and we waited for Bradley to show up and they brought her in a big huge crib. Yeah, they wheeled wheel, her wheel out crib. through the hallway to like a big crib looking thing and she was laying down in there. Yeah, she's she was calm, she was, yeah. she was tired. David picked her up and they sat in the chair for a while and she had her IV put in also. You did a good job. Oh, it feels funny, huh? Finger mommy, finger where are you? Finger, finger, finger. 
She did really good in the recovery room. She did. And the IV was, didn't end up being really a problem. She no. she noticed it, but she wasn't really worried about it. it. She, she did, did really, really, really well. They no wanted crying. her they wanted her to drink water and she was a champ and drink like her whole water and she just sat there. She was so calm. Mm -hmm. I thought that she might have had an issue with putting her fingers in her mouth and trying to pick at it and everything. But she did really, really well. Like when she first came out of it, I think she put her fingers in there to explore a few times because it felt weird. And you could see her moving her mouth around and her tongue like feeling all of it because it was different for her. But she did super, super well. And then they gave her meds. She had an IV during the procedure and she also had, I think, some ibuprofen or something. Ibupro liquid ibuprofen through the um, IV. They gave her an anti-nausea med so that she wouldn't throw up. Are you back to slime videos? Yep. She started drinking some water and she's sitting up more. She just started making her first noises again. She cleared her throat a couple times. She's a little something stuck in her throat type stuff, but She's doing so good. She drank almost all of her water already. She's a champ. I think we're having a harder time than she is. We went on there thinking that every, like all these things that could go wrong, but really none of those things that we thought of actually did go wrong. Right, and she it did ended great. up being really good. We're all done. We're headed home. She's a little swollen. She keeps moving around. She's feeling that it feels different and all that stuff but she she's a champ she did so good she didn't cry um, so it ended up being eight crowns six fillings and a root canal we're good she's happy that's what matters right so our dentist experience with sedation ended up okay she has a lot of teeth that we're, we're gonna go we're gonna we're gonna purchase uh, the 3D toothbrush that uh, Fathering Autism recommends, and we're gonna try that out because obviously the toothbrush that we have is not working well, obviously, and we're gonna work more on flossing too. Try to get her desensitized to flossing, and go from there. Make sure we don't have to go through 14 teeth getting worked on again. She's already back, and we're. We're back to near normal already, I feel like. Yeah. We're getting a little concerned there for a little bit. There's, there's no songs coming out for a while. And we're like, where's, it was so quiet. It was so quiet. But, yeah. She's good to go. We're good. She's been eating a lot, actually. Yeah. And drinking lots of water. So she's... Back on board. She went back to school the next day and she did fine. Um, we did notice a lot of the tape marks popping up on her, on like her face from where the mask was. She had broken blood vessels on her neck too that were sticky when we saw her in the recovery room. She has a couple tape marks on her arm and her stomach. Um, I, I just think that she has very fair skin, so that's not something to be alarmed about, I would say, in case anybody else, because we didn't know. Um, and her IV bruise is pretty bad, but she's resilient. She's doing a great job. Yep. We're so proud of her. We psyched ourselves out. We did. I mean, it's hard not to. Your your baby's not conscious, you know, and you're trusting strangers, but it was okay. It worked out. Now it's over. It's over. We've so, uh, for a while. <laughs> if you're new here, subscribe and we'll uh, continue sharing our lives. And we'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Get your flow. 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 Flow.